everyone, welcome back to the video pop vlogger channel. In the last video, we have shown you how to create a point to point zoom transition using Google Earth Studio. In today's video, we will continue to show you how to create this 3D CD fly through effect. If you are interested in this, keep watching the video. As in the previous episode, first of all, let's go to the home page of the Google Earth Studio. Same as before, click on the Try Earth Studio in the top right corner. If you have already registered, you will be brought to this interface. Click on this button to create a new project. You can change the name of the project, resolution, and duration here. Here, we change the frame rate to 50 or 60 FPS. Click Start to enter the editing page. Let's first have a brief tour of the editing page of Google Earth Studio. The bottom part is the timeline. The left side includes all kinds of parameters. By adding keyframes to the timeline, we can add a certain motion to the camera. The top two windows are the custom preview windows. You can click on the bottoms here to adjust the content of each window. The camera shows a visual view. The top below is a top view, which shows where the camera is on the 2D map. And the north, south, east and west are the side view. And that is the position of the camera from different directions. All the windows are connected. When you move the position of the camera in any of these windows, the other windows will be moving too. Now that we have this figured out, we can start editing. First, enter a location here. I type in Times Square here. Then, in the right window, you can zoom and drag to set a location. The screen might look a little funny when dragging, but don't worry about that. Just wait a while to load a complete model. Once the location is confirmed, let's drag the playhead in the timeline to about 200. Then, click on the keyframe or attributes. Next, let's find a point on the map. Right-click on it and select a set camera target. At this point, no matter how you move the camera, it will lead to this point. Here, I prefer the camera to fly along this path to the final location. Then, at this point, turn the playhead to zero in the timeline. And we will adjust the camera in the right window to bring the view to above the city. Click the keyframe or attribute again. Now, a white line will appear in the map. This is a motion track of the camera. At this point, we can click on the play button here to preview. There might be the case of passing through the building. If this happens, we need to continue to improve the motion curve. Through adding keyframes and motion curves, the result will come out much better. Once the process is complete, we can click on the bottom here and enter the rendering interface. After confirming all the parameters, click Submit. After that, we can download the file of film from Cloud Render. Now, let's open Video Vlogger. Import your own footage and the footage created by Google Earth Studio. You can place a CD fly-through clip after the point-to-point -point zoom transition clip. Then, use Ripple Edit to crop the footage to the right length. Then, click on the transition. Find a zoom blur. Drag and drop it into the transition point in the video. Finally, add some simple sound effects.
a city fly-through video is now complete. Well, this is all for today's video. And if you want to learn more about other and tricks or what has been going on with the video pop vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we will see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.